Hi, and welcome to another episode of Lawson Woods. So today in Lawson Woods and the off-grid homestead, I'm going to be showing you how to install your own septic system. Now, this particular septic system is a very small uh, RV septic system, very small tank, a 55-gallon tank, for instance, uh, with a gray field attached to it. Uh, it has been approved by the county where I'm at, and uh, anyways, it's uh, still something that needs to be pumped out on a fairly regular basis, depending on use. Could be three times a year, could be six times a year, could be more, could be less. Uh, anyways, this is, again, only a 55-gallon tank, and I am going to show you uh, the process. Now, I've already buried the tank at this point, but uh, I have not completely buried the gray field yet, so you'll be able to see uh, parts of it. Anyways, I uh, hope you love to watch the video, and hope you continue to watch more. Anyways, take care. Stay tuned. Well, welcome back. And so here's the 55-gallon tank that I've buried. It's actually partially buried right now, as you can see. And it's connected to the uh, tiny house here. Down below, you can see here, at about 35 gallons, of a 55 gallon tank is where the gray water will come out and it's going to come down in here there's multiple holes uh, that I've drilled in around each side it's hard to tell here but nonetheless they are there and uh, gravel is underneath although some <laughs> some earth has fallen in already I'm going to be adding more gravel burying this and yeah, this is something you can do fairly inexpensive. I think the tank was around 120 bucks. Rock is relative to where you are. Uh, and a little bit of uh, PVC piping and ingenuity. And you can do this too. Well, thanks for joining. Another beautiful day here in Lawson Woods. I'm not going to take much of your time because I have a lot more work to do today, but I'll just show you the uh, area across here is where I'm going to be putting my garden in later this spring. And uh, yeah, well, thanks for joining. I'll just leave you with a little pick of the water here. And now here for the final product. Grayfield has been buried. Tank is ready to go and should you need pump out service, fairly easy to do. Don't worry, it's just fresh water at this point. Oh, well there it is. Took me about two days as of this moment to complete the project so anyways thanks for coming along another beautiful episode of Lawson Woods <laughs>